What's up guys? So I put a question thing up on my Instagram story this morning to see what types of videos that you guys want to see. And I got so many responses, like over a hundred responses for a standing full tutorial. I didn't know you guys wanted to see that that bad, but here it is. Without further ado, standing full tutorial. I'm going to teach the cheated way and the over the top way. So stay tuned for the whole video to see which way fits you better. This is a cheated full. And this is a normal full or a gymnast full. There's a pretty big difference. I'm going to go over the cheated full first. So one of the best things about a cheated full is that you're cheating it. You're not necessarily doing it over the top of the head, so there's less risk of getting injured when you actually try the trick. For a cheated full, there's three main steps that you're going to need to learn it. And I suggest having your back flip down before this, um, but you don't need it. But I do suggest having it before. It'll make it a lot easier for your brain to understand. So the first step is you want to jump. And like a backflip, you jump up like this, and you have your arms behind you. For a full, for a cheated full, you're going to jump, and you're going to aim your arms over one shoulder, whichever one you prefer. For me, it's my left. So I aim my arms over my left shoulder, and then I reach for something directly behind me, and I pull in. That's the first part of the full. So when you're in the air, you're going to jump, reach, and then pull in like this. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. Watch closely with my hands. My arms literally come from behind me like this and then rip in. So that's the first part of a cheated full. Second part of a cheated full is you wanna tuck your body in like so once you're in the air. So once you jump, when you first jump, you wanna extend your body out. But then once you're in the air up like this, you want to tuck your body in like so, that way you can get around quicker. I hope that made sense, but the third step to a full, to a cheated full, is spotting your landing. Now when you're doing a full over your head on a trampoline or something, you go like this and your, your landing is pretty straight over and it's like directly over the top. For a cheated full, your landing is coming around the side, so you have to spot it differently. Instead of spotting it directly down, you spot it to the side with your eyes. So you look for your landing to the side, whichever side you're twisting. So for me, since I twist left, I'm gonna spot down to my left to find the landing. And yeah, that's a cheated full. It's a lot easier than it looks. I know it looks very intricate, but it's kind of a mixture of a B-twist and a side flip and a back flip. Like if you were able to put all three of those tricks together somehow, you get a cheated full. So yeah, I hope that helped you guys learn the cheated full. I'm gonna show you guys some more cheated fulls from different angles. That way you guys can see really quick and study it. And then we're gonna move on to the full over the top of the head. Okay, that's it for cheated full. Now we're gonna move on to the gymnast full or the full over the top of the head. Really quick, I kind of forgot about this, but something that helped me learn the cheated full was a 180 dive roll, but like really over the shoulder. So when I was first learning it, I would do this. I would like jump and roll, jump and roll. That's a very similar axis to the full that you're doing. So that's some good practice for it. The gymnast full. Now, first things first, you definitely need to be able to do a backflip for this one. A nice and strong high back tuck. So make sure that you can do that. Open tuck, don't really, the tight tuck isn't very needed for this one. Now the next thing you need to be able to do is, remember that drill that I just showed you with the dive roll? For the cheated full, for the over the head full, you want to do it at a complete 180. So you're going to stand here, you're going to go right over the top. That's a lot scarier, so if you aren't comfortable trying that yet, make sure that you try it on a trampoline first and get comfortable with it. I'm going to show you that drill from another angle so you can see that I'm going right over the top of the head. Like so. Third most important thing for a gymnast full or a full over the top of the head is you need to set with both of your arms. 
So for a cheated full, you set with both your arms, but they come to the side. For a normal full, you want to set with both your arms and have them come all the way up past your ears. Then you do whatever you do with the twist in the air. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference between a normal full set and a, and a cheated full set without actually doing the flips, but check out my arms and my chest is positioned. It's a cheated full. Here's a full over the top of the head. So you really engage your shoulders and um, make them wide and open for the full over the top of the head. Fourth important thing that you want to know how to be able to do is a branny, a front flip 180 on a trampoline. You don't need to be able to do it on the floor, on the grass. But the reason you want to know how to do that trick is because it helps you spot the ground after the 180 turn. And that's what you need to be able to do in the middle of the full when you're going over the top of your head. I don't need to demonstrate a branny. I'm sure you guys know what it looks like. It's a front flip 180. You guys get it. So that's step number four. And we're going to move on to the final step. Step number five for the standing full over the top of the head. For me, step five is the most important step. You need to engage your abs and butt at the same time. You need to tense your muscles, your abs and your bottom at the same exact time when you're in the air so that you don't lose the top half of your body from the bottom half of your body. Now the number one mistake that I see people make in a full is they throw their whole top of the half of their body without tensing up their abs and their butt, which causes them to lose this part of their body and it makes it a lot harder to land. When you're in the air, make sure that you're tensing your abs and your butt. And that goes for the cheated full too. If you use that method, it'll make it easier for all twisting tricks. So know that guys. Once you've put all five of those steps together and you are comfortable with each and every different step by itself, try the full and you go for it and you may not land it the first time. I'm, I did not land my first standing full ever. It took me a very, very long time, but I did learn the one over the top of the head before I learned the one over the side. So people are different and they learn it differently. So just try whichever one makes it easier for you. Now I'm going to show you guys what a standing full over the top of the head looks like from a few different angles so that you guys see my technique. And then yeah, I have something else coming at the end of this video. Yeah, so both of these techniques are useful. The cheated full is better for combos, for pop fulls. The over the head full is better for punching and going the other way on the spring floor or even on grass. Okay, I really hoped that this tutorial helped you guys understand the full a little bit better. Um, it took me a super long time to learn the full. It took me almost a year, I think. So don't think that it's slow, it's a long time. It is not an easy trick to learn, but once you get it down, you'll have it. Now I'm going to show you guys about a minute and a half of the best things that I've ever done with full, double full, triple full, just back twisting in general, all of it. Here's a minute and a half. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, here it is. That's it.
again thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped you guys learn your full tutorial was fun for me to make and i had no clue that all you guys wanted to see a full tutorial so comment down below what other tricks you want to see super badly because i didn't even know that you guys all wanted to see a full tutorial if you aren't following me on instagram and tiktok please do that right here if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel yet what are you doing put out three to four videos a week i'm having fun with it I hope you guys are having fun watching them. But yeah, I'm just trying to make the most fun, real content that I can that can inspire and help you guys learn stuff. So yeah, I hope that that's what I'm doing. And last but not least, get some of my merch at www.springytoe.com. We ship worldwide. We got a bunch of different colors, shapes, sizes, all that purple blue we got a bunch of new ones so make sure that you go to the website and check them out we also got face masks in just recently so if you guys are trying to stay covid19 free go ahead on the website i'll see you guys in the next one peace out